Rampant wildfires, mass flooding, extreme temperatures. We are witnessing a planetary crisis unfold in real time, and every passing moment reveals a more pressing need for change. But where there is a problem, there is a solution. And when it comes to tackling the climate crisis, nature is our greatest ally. It's time we recognize its value. This is where nature-based solutions come into play. But what exactly do those look like? Nature-based solutions are all about working with nature instead of against nature. When we champion nature-based solutions, we all benefit from the results they provide for the issues facing our planet. Take mangroves, for example. If all mangroves were lost or destroyed, 15 million more people would be affected by floods across the world each year. This means mangrove forests not only provide habitats for fish, they also provide protective natural barriers and solutions against strong storms, floods and erosion. They filter water, provide food and timber resources to coastal communities and can store huge amounts of carbon. Conserving and restoring these ecosystems allows people and nature to thrive, all the while reducing risks posed by the climate crisis. By working with nature like this and changing how we use land, researchers estimate we can reduce emissions by up to a third of what's needed to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement. And mangroves aren't alone in their value. Other ecosystems also offer incredible solutions to issues we may not even think about, such as coral reefs, whose ability to reduce the intensity of waves is crucial to shielding tens of millions of people from floods. Some studies actually suggest they can be even more effective than human-built breakwaters at this task. Or grasslands and savannas, which provide homes for wildlife and help capture and store carbon. The natural world does so much to sustain and protect us and all those we share this planet with. We must do the same in return, and we must do it now. Nature-based solutions are a win-win for each and every one of us, and it's time we pay attention to them.